Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to the episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2020. We are continuing our Breuer FC run in the Skybet League 2. Um, and, I don't know, we've had some mixed results. Mostly, probably, bad results. Uh, but we uh, we have picked up a few points. Uh, that being said, we are closer to relegation than we are to the playoffs at the moment. Uh, so we do have a little bit of work ahead of us. We did also pick up another player on loan. So hopefully he helps us out and, you know, gives us a little bit more just something to, to get us out of uh, this little bit of uh, inconsistency that we're in. So let's get to the video. All right, here we are, ready for our game against Filed here. It's an away game. We've actually already beaten them once uh, this season. We beat them two games ago because we played them in the Leasing.com Trophy North Group H with 386 attendees. Yay. Uh, we actually got about $10,000 for winning that game, which was pretty awesome. So that helps us out at the finances quite a bit, especially since we're still quite a bit over on the finances. We're paying 15000 committed, currently spending 15327 and our wage budget's 14146 Whoops. I mean, I've tried to get rid of a couple other guys. Nothing going. We do still have a little bit of money in the bank, so hopefully we're going to be okay. Uh, but like I said, we did pick up a new player, and I will show you who we did. We picked up uh, Tyrese. I think it's probably how you would say his name. Tyrese Dolan here uh, from Preston. He's on loan. We're only paying about 110 pounds per week. I tried to get him for free. They wouldn't go for it. But 110 pounds per week for a guy. His current four-star potential is five-star. Pretty good, especially since he fills in that spot of the attacking midfielder in the center um, that we lost when we got rid of, uh, what was his name? Forgot his name. He's, he, we've already got rid of him. He forgot his name. Uh, Wellens here for $150,000. So I think that was still the right move to get rid of Wellens. Uh, just get the value for him as quickly as we could. Um, it's really going to help out the bank account quite a bit. And then bring him back in somebody to replace him, who's probably just as good as he is for maybe even better for um uh you know quite a bit less you know cost is i think a pretty good deal overall so bringing him in we also did loan out kerbush here uh he wasn't getting a lot of game time for us and uh he's still got a lot of potential so i'm really hoping he continues to develop and we'll just have him for next season and see if he can develop into a really really good central defender for us if he gets a lot of good play time uh but other than that let's go look at our team here we are playing a 442 i i personally find the 442 a little bit boring because it's just kind of the default hey here's what you should play when you load up the game kind of thing i like to try some of the other formations but there's nothing wrong with 442 it's it works there's, there's nothing wrong with it and it does play to some of our strengths a little bit better especially far over here who we picked up who really prefers to be a a winger in the midfield as opposed to an attacking wing uh winger on the right side so we're gonna see that and he's actually been playing really well by the way uh, he's actually picked up a couple goals. He's got a 7.0 average rating. He's actually got the best overall average rating uh, of anybody in the team, I believe. We got somebody at a 5.8. Ouch. But yeah, so 7.0, pretty good. Uh, of course, those two goals did come in one game, uh, which is the one game that we did win. So actually go check that out real quick before we come back to this. So the last game you guys saw was Rockdale. Um, oh, no. So we've, we've won two games since you guys last saw. We did win a game against Cambridge here. With uh, that was the game that Far picked up his two goals in, pretty nice. Was really well done. I was I was pretty excited about that. We then lost to Bradford City. Just nobody played really well at all. It, I don't know. Forty one minutes uh, goal for them, giving it up right before halftime. Really, really was unfortunate. Uh, then we then like I said, won the game against Fylde here with uh, O'Connell and Campton Sturridge combining for a pair of goals, which was awesome. They're playing that four four two, so both strikers out there and both strikers picking up goals. And then we have had a game against Knox County here and lost that one we also gave up a goal here right right in extra time of, of half time really before half i should say and then right before the end of the game we give up another goal it's really unfortunate I, interestingly enough that was actually our highest attendance game we've had so far and again an away game but you know there you go i mean people came to see us i guess uh bancroft did get a little bit injured we brought him back he's been injured for quite a while because he had a broken arm and we brought him back and I mean, he's played okay, but he got injured like without even scoring, putting any, um, any, uh, uh, what am I trying to say, rankings up or scorings up, whatever, for his performance. Because we brought him in as a substitute, and then within like 10 minutes, he got hit, hurt again. But uh, he's back okay right now. We've got him on the bench, I believe. We're going to try and repeat that performance against Fylde, I hope, and see if we can win another game here. Like I said, we are currently closer to uh, 
relegation. Four points clear of relegation. Five points away from playoffs. So still a lot of time to play. Don't get me wrong. We're, we're still really early in the season. But uh, that is that. So let's go ahead and get to the game. Enough yapping about. Uh, we do have Gates playing uh, the goalkeeper. We have Mundell Smith playing the left-hand side. Kinsella and Leak holding up the central defender roles. And I've got Lapana on the right-hand side. A lot of times he's been playing the central defender roles for us. But I'm not super happy with our right to guys a whole lot. I mean, King's got a 6.7 rating at the moment, average rating. It's fine. But I'm going to try Lupon over and see what he does for us. Uh, and then we've got Hackett on the left. Excuse me, with Farr on the right. Uh, with Dolan and Lynch. New guy Dolan holding up. He can play midfield. Uh, just like he can play an attacking midfielder role. So we're going to have him and Lynch holding up the midfield roles. And of course, Colin O'Connell. I do have Hurst in here at the moment. Uh, Hurst has been showing up pretty good in the under 18s. I know under 18s is under 18s. That doesn't mean a lot, but he's been playing pretty well under 18s. So I'm actually going to give him a chance for once. Um, Campton Sturridge playing okay. And we probably should bring him in. We've got him on the bench to sub back in. But I really want to see if we can get Hurst back in there. I mean, Hurst has got, you know, he's a, he's a good player. Um, he's only got a three and a half star potential to be fair, but we've seen good things from him in the past. And so I'd like to try him out here. Why not? Uh, if worse comes to worse, we just bring Captain Strange back in and all is well. Um, excuse me, man. I should stop recording videos so late because I yawn a lot. Uh, let's see. I, I, can, I think I've already, I accidentally hit the button to start the match, so I can't change anything here. I was going to look around and see if I want to change these guys to any other roles. Like I might move him to a fullback. I guess I can do that as soon as I get into the match here. So let's go ahead and go to the dressing room. In fact, we are going to go to the tactics here. And I think I will make you a fullback. You would prefer to be a fullback on support. Um, it does make you a little bit uh, less runny, but might give us a little bit better defensiveness if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, you actually prefer to be a wingback if you're going to be an attack, so we'll leave you there. These guys are okay. Uh, can I bring one of you on cover, maybe? What about you? Can you do cover? You do cover okay, which actually if I'm going to do that, I'm probably going to swap you. Swap you over here and let you go cover. Um, I like to have a little bit of a cover just, just to kind of help protect us a little bit. And then let me just double check this. I haven't actually double checked these guys. I should have, should have checked this before we started, but uh, I think we're okay otherwise. Yeah, you're fine. Box to box. I still want to keep the box to box, I believe. Although we don't have a playmaker right now, I just realized. Huh. So maybe I actually make you a supporting advanced playmaker because I don't have a playmaker on the field at the moment. And you obviously are a really good player. I like you being a ball winning midfielder on the defensiveness. Deep line forward for Hurst. Uh, I mean, we could play something else like a pressing forward or something. And that might be better. I'll try to press it. You're slightly better at that. All right. Enough messing about. Let's go talk to our team. And I guess there's no real pressure for them. Sure, go out there and play without pressure, guys. I do have faith in you guys. I do have faith in you guys. You guys seem relaxed. We're just going to leave that there. And let's go for the kickoff. All right, guys, come on. Just We've beaten these guys once already, like two games ago. So let's do it again. Same formation, slightly different players on the field, but uh, more or less the same. Slightly better midfielder that we've got that we didn't have before. Because he's only played one game with us, I believe. Got a free kick here from Hackett. Oh, who was that? Kinsella. Well, there you go. I'm glad I brought him on to uh, the team this time around. I was a little unsure, but I felt like he had some potential. And he uh, he scores a goal, I guess. Didn't look like it was him. It looked like Lynch. Oh, Lynch was in the area. Leak was in the area. Kinsella was... Oh, okay, that's what happened. Leak and uh, Lynch kind of went both and went up for it, but Kinsella was the one that kind of slid it. Uh, are we offsides? We are technically offsides. Is it going to go against us? Uh, we kept it. <laughs> I think we were technically offsides, but oh well. I've had a couple offsides that I felt like we weren't offsides, so I guess it's only fair that we get one that we probably were. Um, I'm actually going to demand more. I want more from the boys. Apparently they were pressured by that feedback. Whoops. <sighs> Okay, good. That was just loud. I was like, come on, guys. Zelly here. Offsides. Let's see him. Was he? He was. That's him. Well, actually, that's. It's closer than what we had when we were offside. So. Oh, well. I mean, I guess he still, still technically was offsides, but barely. Lepano's getting in the area. Um, 
Hurst able to come up with that one, thankfully. Come on, Hurst. Show me that it was worth bringing you onto this team today. Trying to get the ball up to Hurst. Hurst tries to get the ball back there. Couldn't come up with it. Uh, up to Pritchard, it looks like. Uh, a guard gets past his man. Thankfully, the goalkeeper was awake and alert and ready to just push that one out of bounds. We are going to get a corner kick here. Pritchard into Williams. Uh, did we get a... Oh, okay. We were shoved. I thought we were getting a penalty for a second there, the way it looked. Well, we're going into halftime up a one nothing, so that is pretty awesome. I am very happy with the performance, guys. Keep it up. I'm sorry for pressuring you with my feedback. Please don't feel pressure. All right, come on, guys. Let's just... We really just got to hold on to this. Don't, don't do anything crazy here. Go ahead and do a quick swap, swap a do. Uh, O'Connell is playing poorly right now. So maybe instead of dropping Hurst out, maybe we drop O'Connell out. Goodness, he is playing really bad. Coach wants me to bring Pennicut on. Uh, I would want to just bring Campton Sturridge on. But honestly, a good Pennicut hurst pairing would be kind of fun. I might even make you a target, man. Sure, why not? We'll bring a good old Pennicut. Maybe, maybe he has some... Some little giddy up in his step, and the coach is like, "Hey, Pennicut's ready for this. He's he's up for this, guys." Oxley with the kick here, F far is there. Uh, gonna push the try to push the ball up a little bit. He gets taken away from tackled away from him. Pritchard with the ball now. Far tries to tackle away again. Uh, pretty sure this gonna be a penalty, probably a red card. It is a red card. I am not surprised. Really, guys. Really. Uh, can Hackett play over here? Not really at all. I know Panicka can sort of pretend play back there. So we're going to bring Panicka over there. And Hackett is going to get replaced with a whole lot of nobody. Um, I mean, Lynch can sort of barely play over there. And actually, Hackett can sort of play in the middle. So we may just do that, not do a sub here. All right, we'll do something like that. It is not ideal. But what are you going to do? Yes. Come on, guys. Can't be giving up red cards like that. Uh, I think we do go back to a little bit more cautious. I don't want to invite too much, you know, of them attacking us. We go full defensive right now. Maybe it's the right move, but I feel like it's still pretty early in the game. Um, Hackett does want to come out, though. And I think we have somebody on the bench that we can bring in for him. We do have Birch on the bench. Would you guys prefer to be swapped? Um, Probably. We'll do that. Come on, guys. Let's just hold on. We're up one nothing. We don't need any crazy heroics. Uh, I don't. Oh yeah, definitely use off tackles, please. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to demand more, but that's probably going to overwhelm them. Yeah, of course, the pressure by the feedback. Of course, they are. Yeah, I might go defensive for the last like ten minutes of the game or so at the eighty-five minute mark, but I don't want to go too soon because I really don't want to invite pressure. Pennicut here. Please show me why I love you so much. Even though I don't play you a lot, whole lot, you're getting a little bit old. You don't have a lot of potential ahead of you necessarily, but you are a very solid player. Um, last sub of the game. And I mean, the worst rating right now is our goalkeeper. Obviously, I'm not swapping him out. Um, Napano is actually really tired. Let's swap him out for a king here. Just for these last few minutes, get some fresh legs on defense. I and mean, then, like I said, when we get to about the 85 minute mark, we probably, unless they score here, we'll probably go to, in fact, we may still go defensive even if they score here. I mean, I would rather end this game with a draw than a loss, but the boys have been playing pretty well other than the red card. Don't give them like this though. Come on guys. Don't let them just, ugh, thank you. Thank you for kicking it wide left because we were giving you so much time there. Okay. We are going to go down defensive and I know it's inviting a little bit more pressure, but we just got to hold on for a couple minutes, guys. There we go. I mean, uh, it's a win. A win's a win. So a little bit messy. I would prefer not to have that, but we will go for it. Good job, guys. And you did it on video. So thank you for that. Make, thank you for showing me, you know, showing that the, the guys, you can do well. Uh, as of this moment, we're actually closer to playoffs than we are to relegation. Five points clear of relegation, four points away from playoffs. I mean, we're, we're a mid-table mid team, so I'm not. I'm just saying that just as a point, but we are definitely, I think, a mid-table team. Although the, the preview says we were first to get relegated, so which you guys can't see. Uh, can't get out of the way. I guess I could turn off the camera for just a second. 
There you go. So we're first to get relegated. 45 to 1 odds that we will be the first to get relegated. Um, as long as we can get void relegation, I will be pretty ecstatic. I think if we can stay up this season, get a little bit more reputation, then I will be, um, I'll be pretty ecstatic. And we might be able to have a better team to actually try to do something next year. So let's get the camera back on. And we're going to go ahead and put a pause in there. We'll be right back for our next game, which is a home game against South End here, the 22nd in the league, which I believe is putting them in the relegation, right? Of oh, the right outside, just outside relegation. So I really hope that we can pull a win against them. We should, as you know, as far as I'm concerned, we should be able to win against them. So we'll be right back. All right, we are back for our game against South End here. And, uh, this is a home game. Going to be a little bit more aggressive player, more aggressive formation here. It's our positive mentality formation here. It does give Dolan a chance to play in his probably more natural role as an attacking midfielder. Um, we'll see what he does. Uh, actually, I think this is the first time we've gotten a chance to play him in this role. We've only played him with midfield up until now. Uh, we've got Mundell Smith playing on the left-hand side. We've got Robertson and Kinsella. We're going to give Kinsella another chance. He played well in the last game. I was pretty proud of him, so we're going to give him another chance. So Robertson and Kinsella in the midfield, and we've got King coming out on the right-hand side. I've been super happy with uh, the way Basley Graham has been playing. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're going to give him more chances later, but uh, we'll give King a throw and see what he does uh, as, a, as, a, as a starter instead of coming off the bench. Uh, Hackett and Lynch holding up the midfield here. Uh, then we've got Bancroft coming in on the left-hand side as an attacking uh, inside forward. He's done well for me in the past with that. He's been injured a lot this season. I'm really hoping he starts to show up and kind of brushes off that uh, injury and, and shows me something here. Again, Dolan starting here in the advanced playmaker in the attacking midfielder in the center. First time playing there, what he's kind of been brought on for, so we'll see if he does well. And the Randall on the inside forward on the right-hand side here. Uh, and O'Connell's going to be our starting uh, striker. Uh, we do have Hurst on the bench instead of uh, instead of uh, Campton Sturridge. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Campton Sturridge. Campton Sturridge is amazing. Pennicott's amazing. <laughs> They've actually gotten three and two goals, respectively. But, uh, in fact, we've gotten... Um, most of our goal scoring is on the bench right now. Now, Farr is suspended right now. That's why he's on the bench. Uh, Pennicott is just not playing well the last few games. So I'm just going to sub him out. I could bring Captain Sturridge on. Maybe I should arguably bring him on instead of like Lions or something like that. But I don't know. We're going to try this. I think it's going to be okay. I, I want to give Captain Sturridge some more time, obviously, because I know he's a good player. But O'Connell is definitely our starter. And we're just going to kind of go from there. Uh, Bancroft, uh, does it say how many minutes he's, uh, just uh, should be monitored accordingly. So we'll just play him for now. If we need to swap, swap him out, actually, you know, we probably should bring somebody who can come in for him. Uh, can Randall play over there? Actually, I can't remember. No. Um, Hackett can play up there if we absolutely had to, and then we can move Birch in or something like that. So, okay. I think we're still fine. Let's get into the game. As far as I'm concerned, this should be a win. It's a home game against a lower ranked team. It's not doing well. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this should be a win. But we've dropped games like this in the past, so what are you going to do? Um, let's go out there and impress me, I guess. They seemed a little bit motivated by that. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. We're just going to leave that one off because he's already been motivated. No sense talking to him anymore. Come on, guys. This is our chance to show that we deserve to stay up in this league. If we can beat these lower-ranked teams, then there you go. If not, then maybe we should get relegated back down again. I think we're as good as some of these bottom teams, though. And so I think it's really a bit of a, maybe not toss-up, maybe it's not the right word, but just I think we can match up with them. So I think there is just as good a chance that we can win as, as losing. So I think we deserve to stay up. I don't know that we deserve to be in playoffs, obviously. That, that, that's, that seems like a, quite a ways away from the playoff side of things. But I think we should have deserved to stay up. I think we're at least as good as the bottom half of this league right now. All right. Uh, oh, I'm not going to Texas. I wanted to go to analysis. We're about 30 minutes in. Nothing's really changed. We haven't really gotten anything good. So I'm going to go ahead and take the advice the coach gave me of shorter passing plays. I used to like to try and start the game just uh, as normal, just to see if we can do anything. Because if we start doing something, there's no tr sense shortening up the passing. But uh, since we haven't really gotten any action, we'll go ahead and do that. Great. Something. Score. Uh, uh, shot attempt or something like that. I don't know what that was, actually. So... Uh, I'm going to sh tell the boys to show some passion. We haven't really gotten a highlight this first half. Apparently, they don't care about passion. Passion is not on the menu for the boys today. Um, yeah, we deserve to win. Come on, guys. All right, good stuff. 
a little bit of green. We'll see if it makes any difference at all. All right, we got a corner kick here for us. Uh, who is that taking the corner kick? Bancroft taking the corner kick. Gets it into Hackett's there. I was going to say, I saw Hackett right there. Pretty wide open, quite frankly. Uh, so I knew if he got it right there on his head, he was at least going to get it towards the goal. Now, there's always a chance that the goalkeeper was going to save it, but I knew he was going to get a good attempt there just based on the angle. And I was like, it's coming right for him. And good, good play, Hackett. Good job. And there we are. Up one nothing as I was hoping we would be. All right. About to be... Do our first sub here. O'Connell's playing poorly. Randall's playing poorly. Now, we do have a couple strikers on the bench for sure. We also have somebody who can come in for the right side. Jamie Lyons for Randall. Uh, O'Connell's ever so slightly more fatigued. So I'm going to swap him out for Hurst. I'd love to see Hurst kind of start doing some stuff, quite frankly. Show me that he deserves to be, you know, our third string striker and hopefully work his way up into a start at some point. Maybe. We shall see. I like Hurst. Hurst is a, he's a good guy. He's got a lot of potential, too. I mean, he could be up to a three and a half star player, which, if nothing else, maybe we could sell him on, you know, for something. Who knows? Uh, Randall is still playing poorly, so we are going to swap him out for... Why is... Jamie Lyons not able to play over here after all. Oh, it's just he doesn't play as inside four, which is fine. Um, we're going to bring him on. And why am I not seeing him? Jamie, there he is. Is he not the player I'm thinking he is? Oh, he's a one-star player. I thought he was something, somebody else for some reason. Maybe I shouldn't even have him on the bench. Whoops. Uh, we'll just play him as a winger, straight up winger. I will remember that he is. I need a. I need a. Probably drop him if he's never going to be any good for me. Um, I don't actually want to shout at the boys. I think they're doing fine. I don't want to make them any more nervous. I don't want to give them any more feedback than they're ready for at the moment. Uh, and then Dolan is actually at a six point five right now. That is not great. He's nervous. Come on, buddy. You can play better than that. We'll swab you up for Smith, but. I'm a little disappointed that you're not playing better than you are. Oh, come on, guys. Just hold on a little bit longer. Three more minutes. Two more minutes. Oh, okay. We're going to get thrown for us. Of course, it could be a counterplay going the other direction for all we know. King with the throw in eventually. He's just kind of doing whatever with the ball over there. Okay, Smith's there. Unfortunately, he gets it taken away from temporarily. Lynch is able to come up with it, though. Uh, thankfully, does not get it taken away from him. Hurst. Hurst with a goal. There you go. I knew Hurst. I just had a feeling about Hurst. I feel like I had a feeling he was he was due for something. That's why I've been playing him and starting him and subbing him and stuff. But uh, good stuff. Good job, Hurst. That is what we want to see. I mean, a little bit of a weird play there. Lynch, thankfully, able to get over to Smith. Smith, decent pass to Hurst. Hurst was just sitting there waiting for it. And uh, not even really a powerful shot, honestly. It's just the goalkeeper. I don't know if he just wasn't ready for it or what. But uh, that is a way to win. So, absolutely excellent play from the boys. Very happy with how you guys played. And, uh, yeah, you guys apparently are, uh, I don't know, good luck or something because we've gotten two wins with you guys watching. So, I greatly appreciate the support. Um, please ch channel that while I'm away for a little bit because I'm going to play a couple games without you guys. Uh, we'll probably come back for the Oldham and Bolton game here just because I like to play the pair of home games if I can. I like to at least try and include one home game. Kind of makes me feel like I'm televising the home game, so to speak, or kind of supporting the home team, so to speak. So we'll probably have to play the Oldham and Bolton game. Uh, if this thing, if the leasing.com thing gets interesting, we will show some of those. But for right now, I just figured there's no point showing them right this second. So yeah, Oldham, Bolton, I hope we have some good news when we come back. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.